All right, here we go. This one's going to be a 10 millimeter versus 41 Magnum test. Today we have the Hornady Custom XTP round. So for the 10 millimeter, that one is 180 grain. Does have just your standard brass case on that one. And it is rated at 1275 feet per second. Um, I have tested this one recently and we were right at 13. So a little bit more than advertised, which is definitely good to see. And for our 41, this one is a 210 grain. Does have a little bit wider hull point cavity. Does have that uh, brass case as well. And this one is rated at 1,545 feet per second. That is out of a 10 inch barrel. Um, so I doubt we'll come anywhere near that today, but uh, we'll see how it does. So for our 10, we have a Rock Island Ultra full size. That one is a five inch barrel. And for our 41, we have our Smith & Wesson model 57. That one is a six inch barrel. So we do have just a little bit of an advantage with that one but still should be a pretty fun test. So we will be going through our gel. It is a 10% block. We do have our jug backstop just in case we get those pass-throughs and our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. So like always, we'll set up our chronograph so we can hopefully get those impact velocities. We'll see how these rounds do head to head. Here we go, first one up will be that 10 millimeter. All right, we're stepping back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. So it looks like our impact velocity on that was 1254. So definitely lower than last time, but uh, still not too bad. And it looks like we do have a leaker, so we at least made it through to that first jug. All right, so let's check out that entry on that one. Looks like we got a nice good hit on that block. Nice wide hole coming in. You can definitely see that uh, star pattern so far. So definitely good. Let's check it out from the top. Let's see if I can get the best lighting out here. I'm in a different spot because my shit spot was uh, shut down due to fire. So doing the best I can out here. So it looks like at our widest point, we're at two and a half inches from the top. So not too bad. Looks like it carried that uh, energy pretty much all the way through. So let's check it out from the side. And check that out. Looks like it did really good coming in. Was like as soon as it hit it started opening up really nicely got a nice big stretch cavity on that like i said that one did pretty much carry all the way to the end there's a few fragments at the very end there was a few on the table and we we're able to stop in that first jug so looked like it dumped uh, pretty much all its energy in this block so definitely good to see so let's see what kind of measurement we have from the side it's pretty much at the very bottom so we are just shy of three inches on that. So quite a bit of damage coming in on that one. Even though it was a little bit lower velocity, you still got some pretty good damage. So what we'll do now is we'll set it for that 41. We'll see how that one does. All right, so just in case I do end up pulling that shot, I just wanted to show that cavity from the top. You can definitely see it a little bit better from uh, this side. It looks like it's coming in really good, doing quite a bit of damage all the way through. Got some nice cuts, a little bit of fragmenting. So really good to see. All right, we're stepping back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. So our impact velocity on that was 1135 so like i said nowhere near that 1545 but still not too bad for that big old heavy slug all right so let's see how we did on that one looks like we got a perfect shot on that one we got a nice big hole coming in you can definitely see down in there and a huge star pattern so far so definitely good to see so let's check it out from the top hopefully i'm not blocking all this light but there is a huge stretch cavity coming in looks like that one did a ton more damage 
and we were barely able to stop this one. I had three jugs and we got a puncture on that very third one. So it was really coming through. Tons of penetration on this one. Let's see if I can get out of this light. But yeah, we have a ton of damage from the top. It looks like this one did fragment a little bit too. So kind of the same as that 10. So let's see if we can get a accurate measurement from our widest point. It's going to be a little bit hard because they're in a little bit different areas. We are right at three and a half inches. So that is huge damage coming in for that 41. So definitely really good to see. Let's check it out from the side. Same thing with our side view. Hopefully you guys can see this. Like I said, we're in a different spot, so our lighting and everything's a little bit different, but looks like as soon as it came in, it started opening up really nicely. Got a really wide stretch cavity on that. And that one looked like it did carry through pretty much all the way through. Like I said, it went through three jugs. We stopped at the very end of uh, one of the jugs and I'm talking barely, barely stopped. I actually have it sitting over there so we can save a little bit of that water for maybe a next test. But yeah, it really barely stopped it. So let's see our measurement from the side. When I get back to the house, I'll get a little bit more accurate measurement. So yeah, we're at three inches from the side too. So that thing was doing a ton of damage, a ton of damage. So let's uh, check it out one more time from the top and then we'll show those around. So. One on the right is that 10 millimeter. One on the left is that 41 Magnum. You can definitely tell the difference there. We got a little bit better hit with that 41, but we still got enough meat of that block and that 10 to see what's going on. They were both a little bit slower than rated velocity, but they still did really good. Let's see. Sorry for all the shaking, guys. I'm trying to get the best lighting we can. So you can see it coming in. Look like it opened up really nicely. Got some nice cuts going all the way through. There's a couple fragments here at the very end. But looks like it carried that energy pretty much all the way. And that one was at 10 millimeter. And our 41 Magnum, same thing. Looks like it opened up pretty much as soon as it came in. Got some massive damage coming in through that block huge stretch cavity same thing with this and looks like it carried through the whole way they both got quite a bit of a penetration too so definitely good to see so let's check those rounds out all right check these things out it looks like they both did pretty good um, we got pretty good expansion for both of them we got some uh, major expansion for that 10 and it did end up coming apart we got a uh, the jacket separated from the core but still did pretty good, did fragment a little bit. So that 10 millimeter flattened out really nicely. Got some really good mushrooming on it. Pretty good solid chunk of lead right there. Here's that jacket. Those pedals peeled back really far on that one. Pretty much all the way to the end of that round. And they did end up shearing off. And then there is our few pedals. Here's that 41. Got some pretty good expansion on that one. So need to get some pretty good uh, penetration. So this would probably be a really good hunting round. Anything XTP would be good hunting, but looks like we peeled all the way back to that cantaloupe lock. But looking pretty good though. Did some pretty good damage. So very good to see. Here they are from the bottom. See if we can flip all this over. So we'll get all our measurements, still shots, pictures, all that good stuff here at the end. So you guys can get a better idea what's going on. And like I said, this will probably be one of our last videos for a while. Everything did get shut down in my area because of fire restrictions and everything's just closing down. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these. I will be back soon. There we go. That was 10 millimeter versus 41 Magnum. All right, and here's that cross section for that 10 millimeter. Looks like it did pretty good. You can see a little bit of that cotton with some major splits right there. Quite a bit of damage coming in. Huge star pattern. Same thing on this side. Looks like there was a fragment down in there. I did actually pull out a couple fragments already, but quite a bit of damage coming in. So let's cut it open. All right, and here's after being cut. This bottom side is the right side. This top side is the left. 
Um, I did forget to mention, I did remeasure it and we were right at three inches wide. So pretty big stretch cavity on that one. So as you can see, it came in probably just over a quarter inch, started opening up really nicely. I have a huge, huge stretch cavity coming in right there. There's a little bit of fragments and quite a bit of cotton t-shirt that it did drag in, but some major damage coming in. That 10 mil never disappoints. We always get some pretty good damage. That one wasn't the hottest round, but still performed really well. Um, same thing up here. You can see where it came in, started to parachute open. And once again, really, really big stretch. Got some pretty deep cuts down in this side too. A little bit more of that cotton t-shirt. Looks like there's little tiny specks of lead in there. But pretty major damage for that uh, XTP round. So very good to see. And one more quick angle. Just a little bit different so you guys can see what's really going on. Got some really, really deep cuts in here. Same thing on this side. Pretty massive damage. Huge stretch cavity. So there we go, there was that 10 millimeter. All right, and here's that cross section for that 41 Magnum. We got some huge, huge splits going on. It's crazy how much damage this thing is doing. You can see a couple fragments down in there. But uh, that 10 mil actually outperformed it with foot pounds of energy, but man, that thing is coming in and just dumping this gel. I did remeasure at its widest point. And we're at three and three quarter inches. So huge, huge splits right there on that cross section. So that's awesome to see. So let's cut it open. All right, and here's after being cut. This bottom is the right side. This top one is the left side. So it looks like this one actually opened up a little bit quicker than that 10 mil also. That's probably an eighth to a quarter of an inch. You can see where it started. And same thing on this one. I can't really, I don't know if the camera's really picking it up, but... These cuts are crazy deep in this gel. There's quite a bit of that cotton t-shirt that it did drag in, but man, that thing really put a hurting on that block. Got some really, really deep cuts. Same on this other side, this top side. You can see as soon as it came in, got a massive stretch cavity, and same thing. Just tore this gel up. You can see quite a few fragments down in there. But man, look at those splits. Tons and tons of damage coming in. So like I said before, I will test some underwood pretty soon. Um, just to see how it does perform. We're under fire restrictions right now, so it might be a while. But the next test we do end up doing will be some good, super hot underwood ammo. But there we go. There was that 41. Actually, I did want to show it from this angle also, just like the last one. But you can really see... Those huge, huge splits, massive cuts, just doing a ton of damage on that gel. But there we go, 41 Magnum.